Hi! I know it's been a while, so I'm so excited to come back and do January for your sign. Um, where I've been, I will, when I have some time, make a longer, more intensive video about that, if you care. But I think most of you just kind of want to know what's going on for my January. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. I had out my pendulum. I had out, like, seven or eight different decks of cards. I had out, like, even some, like, astrology dice. Um, so there's a lot in this video. And I will also uh, put somewhere on my website a little cheat sheet to help you get through the month. It's going to have your lucky days. It's going to have your unlucky days, the general theme. Um, what else does it have in it? Oh, of course your power crystal, your power color. It's going to have affirmations, which chakra you want to focus on this month, how you can spiritually evolve, blah, blah, blah. It's like the all-encompassing January. Like, get you off on the right foot right out the gate for this brand new year. So I'm so excited to do this for you and let's just get into it. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Hey Scorpio, it's January. So I've been doing everybody's a little bit different as far as um, how I go through all of the cards that I pulled. But for you, I'm just feeling like I want to pull some cards straight out the gate. So they're saying the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, the Lord of Wealth in reverse. You might not feel like you have like a super stable and like strong long-term plan moving forward um, into 2019. Like you might be thinking about this like, hey, 2019 is the month where, or the month, the year where I start investing, where I start saving for retirement, where I buy a house, where I this, where I that. Um, but starting in January, you just might kind of be like, oh, fuck, I'm really aware of the fact that I'm not ready for like the long term, that I need to do some long term planning. And so with the 10 of wands in reverse, it's like, so you realize that maybe you haven't worked super hard at this strategy, but a lot of the reason why was like, you literally couldn't even, right? Now, what they're saying is with the seven of swords, things are changing a little bit and um, whatever kind of things in 2018, like January of 2019, you're like, okay, I'm going to be like really open and honest with myself about what I can do and where and how. Um, but you are kind of like on a spiritual level, not necessarily manifesting that. Like you're trying to dictate and control a lot of these things without like putting the spiritual aspect into play with this. So um, it's not like you're co-creating an outcome. You know, you're not, um, you didn't make like a vision board and set goals in order to try to achieve this. Or maybe you did in 2018, but you didn't follow through with that. And so it's kind of like, your spiritual aspect in regards to like your um, material wealth and your safety, your stability, your home, where you live, your possessions, that kind of stuff, um, you have you have to bring the spiritual piece into that. And that's kind of where we're starting with this reading for January of 2019. Now, um, it's interesting that that's the case because the chakra that you're supposed to work on this month is the solar plexus. And that's all about your personal power. Now, that being said... The color of your solar plexus chakra is yellow, and then we have two cards here that are yellow. And yellow is also the color of, like, detoxing. And so when I was mentioning, like, you're not lying to yourself about, like, your effort or what's possible or what isn't, um, this is part of that. It's like, okay, I'm being really open and honest with myself. Like, I am completely... Just like pushing to the side any belief systems that I have or any excuses that I had that, you know, um, aren't serving me. 
And so I'm trying to become more of this energy, the solar plexus energy, like more into my personal power to co-create the changes that I want. But it's not about like just you taking action. You have to involve the spiritual piece of this, okay? So um, in regards to your affirmation for the month, I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. And this is really important for you to do in order to get the results you want a lot faster, right? But then your color energy or your power color of the month is yellow. So you can use this energy by like a light ray, um, putting yellow flowers in your home. You could do this by wearing a lot of yellow. You could do this um, by drinking lemon water. Even though lemon is a color on its own, it's still kind of in the same category and still will help you to detox and cleanse. And this sentence says here, purifying your body. And then the number is 22. And this is all about creating stable and, um, you know, harmonious home life. So that's really interesting, isn't it? How they all kind of blend together. Moving on from there, it's saying that you've got to trust your intuition. Um, you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice. And you have to have faith in your intuition this month. So... Why is that important? Well, because we've realized that now we need to integrate the spiritual aspect into what we want to achieve here. And so eight, you know, one plus a seven, one is a new beginning. Seven, that new beginning expanding into something, culminating into an eight. This is supposed to be an eight. <laughs> Which is about abundance and receiving things quickly. Now, the star card, you'll often hear me um, just call it the hope card because that's what it's about. Typically in the star card, it's like, okay, I, these are the things that I, the goals that I have in mind, the little steps along the way to like a bigger goal. But sometimes that goal is so big um, and like sometimes we don't even set that one. Sometimes we just set the little ones and then it culminates into something more big and beautiful than we ever could have imagined. So with this card, I want you to notice, look, she is got her eyes closed. So she's like kind of trusting spirit. She's almost like framing this big goal with her hand, and then she's got her eyes closed, just trusting that it will come down from there into reality, okay, because her feet are on the ground. Um, this is that, this is like a lotus, right, like in our chakras are like lotuses, so it's opening up that chakra and really putting faith in the spirit, in the universe, in God, in Allah, in the angels, whatever you believe, that they will provide for you what you need here on earth. And it's a very earthy energy. That's where we started. So um, in regards to your lucky days for the month, you have the 5th of January as your lucky day. And then when I pulled unlucky days, you didn't have any. So the 5th is definitely going to be your luckiest day of the month. And... Um, if you are going to work on a certain aspect of your spirituality this month, for some people that's going to be meditation. Other people like use the tarot. Um, but for you, you want to practice shielding. And so what shielding is, is like your own energy. Um, not only are you going to detox your own energy, you know, kind of clean it out, purify your mind, your soul, your body even. But then once you've done that, you want to learn how to protect your own energy so that other people's vibes and stuff don't get in and um, kind of like fuck it up for you. This is important, especially for empaths, right? Other people's energy can really affect your sentiment and then therefore what you're manifesting and if you're successful at that or not. So shielding, the way I do this is I just imagine like a ray of light coming in through my crown chakra and going out through my feet and then kind of going around me like a bubble. Now you can use different colors for that. You might want to try this yellow energy this month um, because then you're going to keep your energy very clean and pure. Personally, like in a crowd, I like to use purple because it's that whole, your rubber, or wait, how does it work? Um, I'm rubber, your glue, whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks to you. So it's like, um, for example, when waitressing, okay? I go to a, a customer and I bring them their drink and they say something nice and it bounces off of me and it sticks to them and now they feel really good about themselves so they continue to be super sweet and nice and probably tip more because they feel good about that. Um, if somebody's an asshole, it bounces off of me, it sticks to them and they go, ooh, doesn't feel good and immediately change their behavior to start being more loving towards me. So purple is another good one that you might want to try. Now, um... 
I had mentioned that I use all sorts of tools to kind of create a general synopsis for you of what's happening this month. And with my astrology dice here, um, I picked up on a couple different vibes. Now, this is not necessarily the astrology that's in your chart this month, but these are the different vibes or essences of what January will be like. So you have... Um, Mercury in the ninth house. So this is a lot about communication in regards to, you know, philosophy, religion, travel, um, higher thinking. So communicating with that higher self or with God, spirit, angel, law, whatever, is going to be very important for you. That's what's going to help you to stay pure. It's going to help you to trust your intuition and to manifest the things that you desire. Now, the other side of it was um, the moon, which represents your intuition again, your deeper emotions, your inner truth truths um in the 11th house of like society friends hopes wishes dreams again it's saying your intuition your um communication with spirit is what's really really going to help you to get the things that you desire and then the sun who you are who you inherently are is all about communication this month um in that third house so kind of um, redundant, right? But it's like you need to communicate who you are, what you're about, what's important to you. And um, you need to kind of reclaim your spiritual self after you've done some cleansing and then just trust that spiritual self to manifest the things that you desire this month. So what else is it that you need to know? And they say that... Um, you know, it's okay if you feel a little apathetic this month. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be successful. Um, it's just that you, until you are connected with someone or something that is like really, really aligned with who you are, that just might be how you feel. So you might go like from zero to 100 this month like on the way that you feel about things. Some you A lot of things might not bother you. A lot of things might just be completely out of sight, out of mind, and you might be wondering like, I'm usually a deep feeler. Why am I not feeling very much? Well, maybe because it's just not like the energy that you need to be connected to right now. You know, if somebody says, hey, I really want to focus on um, our relationship, and you're just like, eh... That, it's because that's not supposed to be your focus this month. If somebody's like, hey, um, I have this new business idea do you, and I want to um, offer you an opportunity you know, to get in our startup and you, you're just like, eh, it's probably not for you, okay? Because when the right thing comes around or the right person comes around, you're going to be all about it, 100% emotional and into that. What else do you need to know this month? And... Um, yeah, they're just saying, you know, some people and some things in your life this month, you're going to be really realizing, like, mm, we want different things. We have different ideas. We have different dreams. Um, but that doesn't mean that you should bend yours. You need to stay focused on your dreams. You need to decide. You need to cleanse your energy here, okay, so that you know what is your idea and your dream and your hope and that you're not just, like, adopting somebody else's, if that makes sense. So anyway, we're going to circle back here to I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness, you know, not only of myself, but of what it is that I'm chasing this month. So your crystal of the month is the desert rose. So... It's also known as gypsum. They come brown, and then they also come white. Never, ever get these wet. Don't put them in your water. Don't try to, like, because they'll dissolve. Anyway, what these do is they increase feelings of well-being, harmony. Um, they help you to feel more beautiful, to see more beauty in your surroundings. They're about willpower, positivity, encouragement. And it does help with your psychic communication as well. Um, it helps you to kind of remember your dreams but then also discern what they mean it helps you to be more free thinking um it helps you to be understanding and remember how we were talking about like the theme of this month is about your communication kind of with a higher realm this definitely helps with communication it does a lot more shit you can look it up on my website you can also purchase one there as well as those astrology dice all that stuff but otherwise um i can't wait to see you in february okay bye Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. 
If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!